water. You think they have to go that way. Yeah, you got it tied onto the rope. Yep. Hey, let's back up. It's underneath the water. It is. It's a wood pipe, right? <laughs> Are So guys, here's a quick wrap up. I found uh, an adapter down there that you see at the uh, docks from time to time. I'm going to try to get that over to my buddy uh, uh, who could use it. And lighter still doesn't want to work. Typical. I'll throw it out unless I can get it to work. A couple of coins, not much there. One of these fidget spinners that lights up. This one actually still lights up, I guess. But the other trash. The shirts, the socks, the things that I, the glass, the bottles, I already thrown those away, including the glasses because they were obviously trash. Um, the cooler and luckier finds, I guess I have that big gaff, that eight foot thing right there, it's got a hook on the end. You'd find that down there, that was interesting. Had another part taped to it on the end, but I got rid of that because it was just, I don't even need it. So, uh, And then of course this nice bike, a pitch specialized bike that doesn't appear to have been in there very long so yeah has a flat tire hopefully that's all that's wrong with it the chain got rusty um, that happens fairly quickly I guess but the rest of the bike looks fairly uh, intact looks to be in really good shape so um, yeah that was a good find right there um, with that guys hopefully I can find the owner and we'll uh, Make a follow-up video if need be. So with that, as always, dive safe. So guys, that's usually how we end the video. Um, this particular video is a little bit different. We found the, uh, the owner of the bike, so we're going to go meet up and uh, drop it off and get it back to him. Pretty cool. So awesome. <laughs> there you go, man. Yeah, I lost my bike. I lost the bike. Wow. Is that the end? Yeah. That's, that's her. Yeah, I think it's only been in the drink for a couple of days, but um, the chain looks a little rusty. Yeah, the oil is great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Really You're very sad. welcome. How, can you tell me how you came to lose it in the lake? Uh, <laughs> so I always lock my bike. I want to make that very clear. I always lock my bike. <laughs> yeah, I see the bike is, uh, you, know, you might want to pan down here. It's, it's locked. It's locked. Uh, I went to work. I work at Iron Bay Restaurant below Solis Teca there. That's oh. right, right on the lake shore there. Yeah, yeah. So I had to work. It was Harbor Fest weekend, and I'm busier than heck. And uh, so I get out of work, I, after a very long day, I unlock my bike, I pull it out of the bike rack, and I notice the tire's flat. So I'm like, oh, crap, you know, and I put it back, and I walk down, I get a ride. I never thought to lock it back up. Okay. Uh, so how long do you think it was there in the rack of the Just that, moved that night. Oh, so it yeah. stayed there for a while. Yeah, so it stayed oh, overnight. Oh, wow. You know, 5,000 people were walking around downtown. Right. So somebody uh, pulled it out, Drove it down the lake and Had a little fun. kicked it off the side. But well, we got it out, so that's cool. Hey, thank you so much. Congratulations.